Harpoon has been the standard anti-ship missile in Western navies, with the exception of the French Exocet. An anti-ship missile is a type of missile designed to be used against ships. The latest generations of these missiles also have the capability to attack land targets. The origins of the Harpoon can be traced back to 1965 when the U.S. Navy began studies to develop a missile with a range of 45 kilometers, capable of attacking submarines on the surface. Following the impact caused in Western navies in 1967 by the sinking of the Israeli destroyer Eilat, struck by Soviet-made SSN-2 Styx missiles launched from Egyptian boats, this project was used as the basis for the development of an anti-ship missile. Development began in 1968, receiving the designation ZAGM-84A. The first prototype was launched in October 1972, with production starting in 1975 and entering service in 1977. The missile can be launched from aircraft, designated AGM, submarines, UGM, and ships, RGM. It has a length of 4.7 meters, a diameter of 34 centimeters, and is powered by a Teledyne CAE J402 model turbojet engine with a thrust of 272 kilograms. The maximum speed is 860 kilometers per hour. The fuel tank has a capacity of 45 kilograms of JP-6. Variants for surface ship or submarine launch have a solid fuel booster. The warhead is semi-armor piercing, weighing 221 kilograms, with 100 kilograms being high explosive. Guidance during the initial flight phase is inertial, with data provided prior to launch. During the final phase, a Texas Instruments PR-53 search radar in J-band is used. The radar's tracking mode can be pre-programmed, with several search patterns available. RBL, used when the target position is known. It has three modes. Short, initiates target search at 5 nautical miles from the theoretical position. Medium, at 10 nautical miles. Long, at 16 nautical miles. BOL, this mode is used when the target position is unknown. The radar begins scanning almost immediately after launch at a 90-degree angle, the maximum possible. The flight is carried out at an altitude between 15 and 60 meters, thanks to a radio altimeter. There are numerous versions of this missile. The initial version of the Harpoon was the A model. Model B, a version of the A model for the Royal Navy, capable of flying slightly lower during the cruise phase. Only the submarine-launched model was built. Model C, incorporates the capability of flying at low altitude during all phases of the attack. Entered service in 1982. Model D, an improved B model, increasing the range to 220 km by replacing the fuel used by the engine, JP-10 instead of JP-6. The final attack phase profile can also be selected, low altitude or dive. The fire control system is upgraded to the ANSWG 1A version, allowing for programming of several intermediate points in the missile's trajectory towards the target. Model F, this version was cancelled and replaced by the G model. Model G, has the ability to reinitiate the search phase, depending on remaining fuel, if the target lock is lost. The electronic counter countermeasures equipment was also improved. Model L, this model incorporates the inertial unit from the JDM bomb and the control software and GPS of the SLAM ER missile. The acquisition radar and resistance to electronic countermeasures are also improved. These changes allow for the attack of land targets and ships in coastal environments. Model N, the latest version of the Harpoon, incorporating an improved GPS and a data link to receive target position updates during flight. The baptism of fire for this missile occurred in November 1980 when the Iranian missile boat Pekan launched three harpoons against three Iraqi OSA missile boats, rendering them inoperable. The first combat launch by the U.S. Navy took place in March 1986 during the clashes between the United States and Libya in the Gulf of Sidra, sinking two Libyan corvettes and damaging two more.